guys, my name is Gary Montejo, Cebu Scouts for Event Buzzer, representing for Keep Six Cebu and Keep Six Manila. Hi, Jay, over the camera over there. Yeah. And we are here on Attack of Fest 2020 here at SMC Side Garden Maze. And I, we are so honored to be to be with uh, one of our international cosplayers, international guest cosplayers. He's none other than King from Malaysia. Hi. Hi guys. Hi King. My name is uh, King Ruzi from Malaysia. So World Cosplay Summit representative 2019. So how do you find the Philippines? Welcome to the Philippines, by the way. Thank you so much. How do you um, find the Philippines? Uh, Philippines is really, really nice, and the weather is really awesome, and the people here is so, so friendly. And of course, the cosplay in Otaku Fest 2020 is really awesome. They are very accurate, and likely in Malaysia and stuff, but they are awesome, and Philippines is awesome. Have you tasted one of our delicacies? Yes. One of our food? Yes, balut. Balut. Yes, yes, something like that. Balut. How was it? How was it? How was it? unusual taste <laughs> but uh, but it's um okay and it's tasty and Jollibee is also a new thing for me and what's your favorite Jollibee food? Uh, chicken wise chicken joy uh, chicken joy mm. it's, uh, yeah that's one of really our favorite uh, food as well chicken yes. joy okay so can you help uh, can you help us describe what does it look like what cosplay looks like in Malaysia Cos is it the same as here in the Philippines? Uh, it's, it's just the same in the Philippines. It, in Asia, apparently, it's the same. It's uh, really passionate about cosplay and a lot of uh, people wanted to cosplay that. And when they see any uh, cosplayer that cosplay their favorite um, anime, they will be like, Oh my god, this anime is really awesome and stuff. And it's really quite the same. Malaysia and in the Philippines. I see. But how, what? How does it differ this time here in uh, Philippines and Malaysia? Uh, the difference is, uh, Malaysia is more um, crowded. It's more people who come mm -hmm. and a lot of cosplayer with uh, a lot of uh, attitude and mm -hmm. um, more into the uh, character and stuff. Philippines mm -hmm. is uh, quite the same and uh, it's more. Malaysia is more in indoors. Indoors, uh, okay. indoors, and not in outdoors that much. And uh, the weather in Malaysia is so damn hot, more than oh, so Philippines is more windy and stuff. <laughs> and it's more something like that, more a difference. That's so. So when did you start to cosplay? Um, I started cosplaying since uh, 2012, and it's really, really eight years now. Yeah, happy yeah, eight years. Yeah, happy eight years, and. Uh, I started cosplaying, uh, serious cosplay since 2017 and started joining competition and suddenly uh, 2019 uh, my luck going to World Cosplay Summit and represent Malaysia and meeting my fellow friends Siegfried and stuff. So yeah. <laughs> so well, what, can you share to us why, uh, why did you choose cosplay of all hobbies? Why did you choose cosplay? Cosplay is um, really make me feel into character mm. and not some of other hobbies and stuff mm. and I really like films because I'm I am a diploma in films uh, theater and animation nice. and it's um, I really wanted to express my art in cosplay so what I wanted to do in the character in the TV and uh, make it to reality on my own budget right. so it's really really interesting to make and stuff so, also yeah. in your art in your own artistic expression correct yes mm, nice yeah you have a question okay uh, do you have any message to uh, our fellow uh, cosplayers in the philippines uh, don't give up and <laughs> do what you wanted to do uh don't care about anybody if you wanted to do that just do it and uh try first and then you will achieve it somehow just don't give up kabate from malaysia yay Thank you very much, King Rusdi, and thank you very much, Gary Montejo. They will be doing their workshop any moment right now. They're just handing out the sheets. So, good luck, best of luck, and thank you very much again for Bye. being here with us. Thank you. Welcome to the Philippines again. Hello, I'm Hikaling from Canada. Nice to meet you. All right. Okay, Serena, you asked the first question. Okay, um, my first question is, though it's a little bit advanced, it should be like the last question, but can you give us like hints or like your three possible cost plans for this year? Or or not specific character, how about like from a specific franchise? Oh, sure. 
Uh, I mean, I could just let you know what I'm gonna cosplay. So this year, I want to work more on Korean manhwa characters. I think I'm gonna cosplay um, the characters from the series called Painter of the Night. Um, I want to cosplay more game characters too. So I want to cosplay Merlin from FGO and also Seragaki Aoba from Dramatical Murder. Uh, after two days of being here in Cebu, uh, this is not your second. This is not your first time. Am I correct? It's my first time in Cebu, but it's my second time in Philippines. So since this is your first time in Cebu, how's how's the Cebu cosplay community compared to the Manila cosplay community? Uh, to be honest. I don't really remember because when I last went to Manila, it was three years ago. But my general impression of the Philippines is just everybody is overwhelmingly helpful and they're just so warm to you no matter uh, what you need. I was in trouble at the airport and the airport staff just helped me with no questions and they made sure I was safe and got to whatever places I need to go. So I'm just really in love with the people, the culture, and how Philippines treat each other. All right, so last question for uh, Hikarin. If you're not a cosplayer, what could be your occupation? What do you will be doing now, if not cosplaying? I want to, I want to travel the world on, what do you call those, like, like National Geographic's, um, the traveling team crew, where they film animals and the uh, natural habitat to raise awareness of, um, what do you call this? Of you know, saving, saving the environment. I'm just, I just want to have a job that has to do with animals and wildlife. So you're more of an environmentalist per se. I just like animals a lot. <laughs> like cats? Yeah, I love cats. I have a, I have a bird <laughs> whom I rescued from the beach, and I have a couple of dogs. I've never had a cat though. I would love to. Great. Okay, any last words for your Filipino fans? Ah, I do. Oh shoot, where did it go? Oh, found it. Okay. Gihigugma ko kamo. Did I say that right? I think that means... I think that means I love you. Gihigugma ko. Ah, yes. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. That's Hikarian, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, nice to meet you all of you guys. So I'm Didi Tenka. I'm cosplayer from China, but I'm based in Singapore and now I'm in France. So I travel all the way to Philippines to see all of you. And I really like this kind of atmosphere in these events. Like uh, all the fans, they are really kind and re really have passion of cosplayers. They love animes. So I hope all of you can enjoy this event. Yeah, thank you. Okay, this is more like the last, mostly the last question of every Q and A panel. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna start it out. Like for this year, what are your like at least three upcoming cost plans? Or not specific? It's okay, like not a specific character, but just one franchise. Okay. Uh, in fact, I, I didn't plan a lot, you know, because now I'm living in France. I don't have much time to do the cosplay. But definitely, there's one. Uh, it's a Chinese series. Uh, I think all of you are, you know it is uh, from Wadao Zhu Shi. So, uh, in fact, I already did the cosplay before, but I want to try more shoots like indoor, yeah. outdoor to test out all the like uh, results to have uh, good photos. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, if you are not a cosplayer, what could be your profession? Wow. Um. Maybe photographer. Yeah, because I'm really into photography. So um, currently, I really travel a lot around the world taking photos. So if you are interested, <laughs> you can check out my Instagram. I take a lot of uh, travel photography also. Yeah. Speaking of photography, what is in your photography kit? Uh, what is your equipment? Uh, I have the uh, Nikon D750. So uh, this already been maybe five years with me. And uh, I have the lens, so it depends on what I'm shooting. So if I go taking the landscapes, I always taking the Nikon uh, 2470 mm lenses. And also, uh, I, sometimes I taking the concerts, events, photos. Uh, so I was having the 70 250 lenses. Yeah. Right, so uh, that would be your recommended uh, camera equipment. Am I correct? 
well. <laughs> I think a lot of opportunity is based on your budget, but uh, aperture is quite important, I think. So if you're interested in photography, you can check out all the, I think online they already have a lot of tutorial, recommendations, yes. So um, it's based on what you want to shoot, I would say. Yeah. Thank you very much, Didi Tang, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.